Both these groups lived and continue to live in mainland South America. With the exception of Trinidad, the inhabitants of the Caribbean islands who discovered Columbus spoke Arawakan languages, that is, languages related to Arawak. However, no real Arawak, the language of the mainland Arawaks, was used. There were languages such as Kaketio in Aruba and Curacao, Makoriche in Cuba, and Siwayo in the Dominican Republic. Most interesting was Inieri in the Lesser Antilles. About a hundred or more years before Columbus came, the Caribs of South America in their canoes spread into the Caribbean. More particularly, I should say, Carib men. They intermarried with women they encountered as they spread northward through the islands. These women were speakers of pre-existing Arawakan languages. Of course, the children learned to talk the language of their mothers, an Arawakan language. So, Carlos, you can tell me the one one hour, or will you know now? Tell me. We forget already. Um, you snake, snake. You know snake, right? What snake? Wakuda. Huh? Wakuda. What was that? Wakuda. Wakuda, a snake. You know, right? Ah, uh, we are no goat, right? Yeah, go back and she learn me more. To be a man meant in reality to speak the same language as your mother and sister but to have special carib words and phrases to mark you off from them in it diana no roast diana ah uh, it it don't eat uh -huh. say it again for me in it diana no roast no rea no rea no rea so which is the part where me eat no rea yeah uh -huh. no rea means eat okay diana means done finish okay. eat Okay, yeah, no. okay, uh, and so on. Uh, if I want to say, I'm going to eat tomorrow, how do you say that? Haki, in a noro yet. Haki, in a noro yet. Noro, noro uh, Okay, 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 okay. Um, um, uh, how do you say, me eat food? Food? Tomorrow you're going to food or? Mm, well, give me anything. Any, anyone will come better uh, thing. Uh, just tell me with me. Uh -huh. Tomorrow? Yeah. You know tomorrow? Tomorrow is something like um, hockey in a Diana in a no road. There's still tomorrow I'm going to eat. Okay. No root. No root. Hockey in a no root. Two in a no road. It's that haki. Means, haki. Haki means tomorrow. Uh huh. And then you can eat now. This means in a no root. No root. No root. Yes. eat. Yes. Right. Tomorrow. Haki. Now. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay. Uh huh. So you say mega fish. Fish. I catch fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Haki in a yabaktan. Haki. Haki in a yabaktan. Obunya. This Obu means tomorrow I want to go fishing. Okay. 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 Uh, haki is tomorrow, oh, yeah. right? Uh, which is the part mean uh, that um, a fish? Yep. Yabakta. That's mean fishing. Right, yabakta, fishing. Okay, 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 okay. How is it? We don't fish. Yabakta ni bunya. Yabakta ni. You know what fishing means? Okay. Finish. Okay, 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 okay. Everybody, when they wanted to say I or me, would say nukuya. That is an Arawakan form. When a man wanted to mark himself off as a man, he would say, Ow! The Carib word with the same meaning. The word for woman in ordinary speech was Hiaru. But when a man spoke as a man asserting his masculinity, it was Buri. The word for man in this special man's speech would be Wuguri. But the ordinary word would be Iyeri. That is probably the same word as Iyeri or Inyeri, one of the names given to the group of indigenous people living on the islands of the Lesser Antilles. 
they were labeling themselves and the whole group they belonged to as men. They were the descendants of males who had come into the Caribbean and created a new community by intermarrying with women already there. But even though these men were using words from Carib, they were merely speaking the language of their mothers with words and phrases borrowed from Carib, the language of their grandfathers and their great-grandfathers. Selena Jones. Selena Jones? Yes. Um, and how long have you been living um, in Kapui? Kapui? I don't know. That's the only one I know. Long, long time. When you come here, are you the whole, you're the little girl, you're the, you know, big woman? Big are you the done married already? Yes, yes. Are you the done married already when you come? The done married already. Uh -huh. And you had, the, and you had children already? Yes, you had children. Born already? children. Have you children already got already when yes. you come? Yes. Oh, oh, see. So them born? The man is couple years. The, uh, the body also? Yes. Okay. You send it to school here. Okay, 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 okay. I'm glad so, you see everybody. Yeah, man. So thanks. Right. The other names they called themselves were Kalipuna in the speech of the women and Kalinagu in the speech of the men. The Kali in the name is related to the Lokona word Kali, which means bitter cassava. The Arawaks seem to have called the Caribs by a name which means the bitter cassava people. Kaketio. Wakayarim, Siboni, Makurishi, Maisi, Siwayu, Karine, Pagotto, Nepuyo, Yao. Never heard of any of these? That's because their speakers were killed off or died of diseases after the discovery. But that's another story.